I saw how poorly my first documentary was being treated and I didn't want to go through and it, I, it was a really tough film to make. I, uh, I didn't want to go through that again. So the first one was yeah. pretty tough to make. Super tough. So it wasn't well received or just the making of it. This guy oh, okay. is, uh, because I edited it, mm -hmm. I spent over two years staring at footage of a very unhappy person. Wow. And it affected me uh, psychologically. So that happened. And then I had a terrible fallout with my distributor uh, who ended up going out of business. So uh, I realized, you know, doing these documentaries, you know, the independent route is just not getting me what I want. Yeah. Uh, a lot of filmmakers at the time, when you kind of do your short film kind of, you know, film festival run, you've squeezed it all out. At the time, this is, you know, people would look at me and say, so when are you, why are you wasting your time with that? Make a feature. And so the documentary feature at this time, which was uh, when Netflix was still buying tons of documentaries, they weren't making their own stuff yet. And so the thought was, well, you know, it could probably get on Netflix, no problem. That all shifted over the six years I made this movie, of course. Um, but so with the superhero doc, what happened was there was that. And then I interviewed someone who took my idea and uh, with the knowledge of, you know, like the, my whole pitch, my whole questions, made his own version of it and sold the History Channel. Oh, my God. Uh, and he's a really, well, was well respected for many years until he me too himself, uh, which this guy probably deserves. Whoa. Anyways, I didn't want to go through that situation again. That was heartbreaking. 